Hello, so today I'm going to be doing a review of the HTC Desire 601. It's a mid-range smartphone by HTC with some nice specs for its price. So let's get this review started. Okay, so let's turn it on here. So there's the lock screen. You can have you have the time, the weather, all different customizable apps at the bottom. And if you swipe over, you can have lock screen widgets. At the moment, I just have a calculator. So if we swipe back over, we can start it up here, unlock it. Okay, so here's the home screen. So this is a, a 4.5 inch screen that is 540 by 960. Uh, with uh, with 245 ppi so it's not the nicest screen but it like specs wise but if you look at it it's actually pretty nice so this is uh, running android 4.4 kitkat but when I got it it had jelly bean but I there was an upgrade available so I did it Okay, so this isn't the regular KitKat as you can see, it's HTC's version. So if you pull down, here's your notifications. They just go here, there's a clear all button. If you press here, you have a whole bunch of different settings that you can customize by pressing there. So you can choose all the different ones you want, choose where they are, then done, and then you're back. So like I was saying, this isn't the regular KitKat, this is HTC's version. So this is, this is running Sense 5, I think. It's like HTC's version. So if you swipe to the left, if you have it on, there's Blink Feed. And this has everything that you can customize. You can choose Facebook, Gallery, a whole bunch of things. And it'll show it. So you can be looking at your Facebook, your emails, things that you've customized that you're interested in all at the same time. It's actually pretty useful. And you can just swipe down, and then you just swipe right over, and you're back at your... Uh, home screen. But if you do press on one of these, it'll bring you into the app that it's showing you it from. So if you press on the app here, you can see all your apps. So if, or if you press on the app folder, now you have all your applications that you've downloaded, everything right there. So that's all the. That's how you go around the menu. And if you swipe to your right, you can have everything, all your apps, whatever you have. I you can put some widgets in, you just pinch out, you can put in widgets, apps, shortcuts if you want, and you just press them and then put it to whatever screen. Say you wanted a widget, say I wanted a, I don't know, I wanted to put my Google Drive things on just like that. And then you go back there and there it is. Okay, so on the front here, you can see that there are two boom sound speakers that HTC has. They've got built-in amplifiers, which are really nice, loud, crisp, clear sound. I think I'll be doing a sound test in a bit. You have your two uh, ambient light sensors, or different sensors there. Uh, your two capacitive LED lit buttons for home and back. There's no, um, uh, there's no third button, it's kind of weird, but the HTC button is touch sensitive, but you have to download different apps to uh, get it to work, but there'll be no light on it, so. Yeah, so, uh, on the front, you'll see a 1.9 megapixel camera, and on the back, a 5 megapixel camera with uh, LED flash and a microphone. So on the top of the device here, there's the power button and the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. On the right hand side of the device you have your volume rockers. On the bottom you have your uh, micro USB for charging. On the left hand side there's nothing. So the back of it here is a um, soft touch rubbery finish and the back does come off. So it has 8 gigabytes of internal storage and if you open up the back here, just pop it off here. So if you open up the back, there is 
micro SD card up to 128 gigabytes. Your uh, battery here and SIM card for micro SIM. And the battery is uh, 2100 uh, milliamp hour battery. So it's pretty nice. Okay, so oops, pop this back on. It's really easy. Just get all those in there. Okay. Let's go back to home here. That's how you, uh, if you're in an application, you press home. And then you can, uh, to get rid of it from running, all you have to do is double tap the home button. And then you can just swipe up and get rid of any apps. So, uh, for specs, it has, uh, like I said, a 4.5 inch screen, 540 by 960, 244 p 245 PPI, sorry. It's got the two boom sound speakers, 1.9 megapixel camera, 5 me megapixel camera on the back. Um... It's got 8 gigabytes of internal memory, 1 gigabyte of RAM, expandable up to 64, sorry, not 128. It's got slow motion video. It's got a uh, dual core 1.4 gigahertz quad column Snapdragon 400 processor. It's got radio, 2100 milliamp hour battery. And yeah, it's for sensors. It's got an accelerometer and a proximity sensor. It's got Corning and Gorilla Glass 2, so it's a bit more scratch protection, even though screen protectors are nice. And yeah, so that's the, some of the specs. So I thought since this had a very nice uh, pair of speakers and a pretty nice screen, nice large enough, I'd uh, do a video demonstration with sound and it's just to show how it looks like. Every great war has its heroes. I'm just curious what kind you'll be. I will not suffer even an unknowing arrival. You must die. Okay, so I don't know if you noticed, but it is a bit on the uh, bluer side of things for the colors, but it still looks very nice. Um, so let's do a little application test to show how it, everything runs. We'll just do some BMX. Okay. So we just select this. So this isn't the most uh, processor intensive app, but it'll work. So as you can see, there's I am not experiencing any lag, and everything goes smooth and. It looks nice, and I'm not very good at this game, but as you can see, I'd be in the hospital if this was really me on a bike, but, you know. Okay, so that's most, this is how all games run. I haven't experienced any leg really at all with this. I can run many apps and not experience any like at all, all like all at once is for the one gig of RAM it actually works pretty well so let's go back to the home screen here swipe up to get rid of the apps and go back home so I did a camera test and uh, there will be I'll bring up some pictures now So those are the kind of pictures it takes. It's, they're actually really nice, crisp, and clear. And a really nice thing about this camera 
or the camera on this is that it has Zoe who it, which really helps you can it's got awesome very a lot of editing tools and a really cool see if you press here you've got a whole bunch of different modes you can choose where your photos go panorama anti shake night and if you go in here you can do it fast HD videos or even slow motion which is really cool the slow motion I really enjoy it's got timer front you can switch cameras just like that and yeah so I we'll just switch back here okay so also with this there's a lot of, there's a lot of editing features so let me just bring it over to a photo that I've taken. So there's one of my little brother. And uh, as you can see, you have edit. And you have so many different things. You can draw. You can rotate, crop, flip, uh, straighten. You can, there's many things for uh, eyes and red eye, frames you can put them in, effects. There's even a, a setting in here that if you take a picture with Zoe on and say you're in the city and there's a person behind you that you don't want in your photo, you can take it out and since it took multiple photos, it knows what's behind that person. So you can really take people out of your picture and still have the background there. So I'll just discard that so that's uh, my review of the HTC Desire 601 it's a mid-range smartphone from HTC which really I, I really enjoy it I, I've got a nice case here for it keep it protected I've got a screen protector on it and for the battery life, I can usually get about a day out of it, maybe more, depending on what I'm doing. It's got lots of built-in features. It's really up there with Samsung, and I, I really like that, especially for the price. This one retails for 300 but you can find them for less than 200 